Hi, and welcome to this course. You are on your first step to gaining fast API knowledge and having a RESTful and full stack applications deployed live. But before we jump in, let's go over the course outline because this course is packed with content. We are almost done with the introduction where we learn about fast API overview and how to take this course to get the most out of it. Right after this, we will dive right into getting Python and an IDE and integrated development environment installed on your personal machine. The first thing we do is go over what we expect to accomplish in project one. The first project will cover so many different areas of fast API to get you going, well, fast. We will be creating you an optional virtual environment on your computer to separate this project's dependencies from other projects you may have. We will then create your fast API project and create your first RESTful API within minutes. When we create your first API, you'll be able to see why fast API is becoming a fan favorite lightweight framework for your Python applications. We will then dive head first into Swagger, a dynamic document for APIs and HTTP request methods so you know exactly how to maneuver professionally when dealing with APIs. We'll be jumping into all CRUD operations that make RESTful API so powerful to work with, which include get, post, put, and delete. After this, we start project two. Project two is where we start creating real Python objects and begin to send objects from the client to the server and back using request bodies. Here's where we learn about Pydantix and how to properly create Python classes and how to handle errors using HTTP exceptions to send the client proper status codes. We will learn about forms and OAuth2 bearer forms. OAuth2 bearer forms is a special way for a client to send sensitive data from the client to the server. And now at this point, we start jumping into project three. This project is jam packed with amazing features that'll make you a professional engineer. Not only will we cover how to create a well-structured application that has many different endpoints, but we'll be creating and working with a full-pledged professional database. This will allow you to save information and really bring a full circle to all the CRUD operations. And what is an application without full authentication and authorization? Yeah, you got that right. We will be implementing full authentication and authorization using JWT. JWT, also known as JSON Web Tokens, is the standard for dealing with authentication and authorization. And I will walk you step by step on how to implement this all into a professional skill set using our favorite Python framework. After learning about authorization and authentication, we jump right into routing. Routing is where we learn how to create and use fast API with larger scale applications. After routing, we will get into Olympic and data migrations where we learn how to change and optimize our databases for a fast API. And following Olympic is our full stack application. This is where stuff really gets interesting and we implement an entire web application where users will have their own data and authentication. Lastly is the deployment section. This is where you can upload your application to be used by anyone in the world. Now, this is all super exciting stuff and I can't wait to go on this journey with you step by step. Well, this wraps up the course content and I will see you in the next video.